Today we're gonna to talk about how you can find out, how you can notice, how you can recognize if your coach is just full of shit. Now, first of all, everybody loves sharing happy things. So what I say is first of all, because I've seen it flying around Instagram. We should all support each other. We should all be friends. We should all be nice to each other as coaches. No, no. This industry is full of fucking whack jobs and, it, and they take people's money and it isn't fair. So you can all be friends, you can all pat each other on back and suck each other off, but the dragon's gonna sit here and he's still gonna say that there are some idiots out there. I'm not saying everybody is, there's loads of good coaches out there. Loads of good coaches, but there is a lot of idiots as well. And unfortunately, from a client standpoint, from someone who's looking from the outside in as to getting a coach, it's hard to distinguish a good coach from a bad coach because you don't really know, you're just putting your trust in them. So that's why I'm here. So I'm sorry that I don't pat everybody on the back and call them out, but that's my job. It's gotta be someone like me, aren't there? So how to recognize if your coach is full of shit? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Um, you, I'm gonna go, go with Strongman as an example, not powerlifting. So Strongman, we've got a lot of different events to train. You've got yokes, farmers, you've got grip events, speed events, heavy carry events, etc. Deadlifts, logs, everything, right? You go into your deadlift session, okay, and uh, as the client, and you've just done your deadlift session. Now, my question to you is, why have you done that session? And if you can't answer that question, then you, your coach, and, and your coach can't answer that. If you don't know the answer, ask your coach, why have I done this deadlift session? Like, where am I going with it? And if they don't know the answer, and you don't know the answer, then why are you doing the session, you know what I mean? Same with yoke, like if they say, run 220 yoke, five sets, 20 meters. And you say, uh, why, why 220? Why five sets? Why, just out of interest, why am I doing that? Uh, well, it's just a good weight for you to run 20 meters with. But that's a shit answer. You know what I mean? You need to have on every single thing you're doing, whether it's your logs, your, um, your deadlifts, etc. you need to know as the client a short-term goal. Okay, You need to know what you're working towards. You need to know why you're doing certain things. Uh, so that you have a focus. And as a coach, whenever you write a program, a good coach will set a goal and work backwards from the goal. Okay, so they'll say, right, over the next eight weeks, we need to build some volume up on your pull. So I would like to end the volume phase around here because you've not done this much before. It will be like a, it will be a progression from the last time we did something like this. So he'll work back and then you'll do your six week phase. You'll get to this point, volume PBs, brilliant coach knows what he's done where he's been going with it etc now if that coach just goes right i'm gonna uh, we need to do volume so let's start here and then he just does volume he has no idea where he's going you have no idea where you're going there's no goal there's no tracking there's no time scale there's no end outcome they're just doing something here's where it gets sketchy because they're still doing volume so you're still going to get the response from the volume so you may well still get better but the problem with it is there's no tracking there's no there's no end goal there's no kind of destination and it might work once it might work twice but when you start getting into like the third year of your training or whatever then uh, gains start to become you know more marginal gains they, they tend to come slower so these things need to be tracked a lot better they need to be a lot more accurate Anybody can get a noob strong, you know what I mean? But it's hard to get an elite level athlete stronger. And that's when these uh, this specific goal setting needs to be done. So if you're going into your program and you don't know why you're doing 220 yokes for five sets of 20 meters, then you need to ask. And if they don't know, you need to tell them, well, you should fucking know and tell me why. And they might say, well, it's because I've noticed that your, your 200 kilo yoke is really fast and your 250 is really slow. So I'm, I'm hitting you in the middle with some volume until you get them under 13 seconds and then I'll let you go to 240. Then you go, oh, cheers, man, that sounds class. Like, awesome. Now I know that I'm aiming for 13 seconds on these runs and you know what to do. You're going into your session with a, a target. You're going into your session with a goal. It'll help you in motivation, it'll help you get your ass out of bed in the morning, and it'll give you just a lot better results uh, and accountability with your programming. So that is the easiest way to find out if your coach is full of shit, is if they don't have a clue and you don't have a clue why you're doing everything you're doing. So don't just spin your wheels, don't just go in circles. If you think you've got a shit coach, take a leap of faith, click MST bot, 
first month free, trial that four weeks and think to yourself, am I getting more out of this £25 a month generic programme that Shane's wrote than my old coach? Because if you are, they also full of shit. Joe Skull's nodding, it was good. If you like the video, like the video. Make sure you comment as well, give me some engagement, I love that. I might reply to you. <laughs> and yeah, that's everything guys, enjoy.